So which mobile phone habit do people find most annoying? The answer is A, talking too loudly. Welcome back to The Right Stuff with Larry Turner, Christopher McGinnis and Belinda Lang. Uh, still to come is Tracy M. in Wright to say women over 55 aren't sexy. If you are over 55, do you feel sexy? Do you think of yourself as sexy? That's probably more important. Is 55 is still some time away? Do you dread reaching that particular milestone in life? 0207 173 5555. That's cinema for your calls. But first, mobile phone manners. People shouting into their mobiles on trains or in other public spaces is one thing, and something I guess we've all had to get used to. But I was thinking about the way they intrude into our more intimate and private moments, and how added functions such as text messaging and now email are making a bad situation worse. Going for lunch with a friend and seeing the friend slap their mobile down on the table. I mean, what does that say? Now, to me, that says no matter how much we're going to enjoy our food, something more important than you might crop up at any moment and then I'll just have to break away and deal with it. And that is rude. What about going to a meeting or a social gathering and then surreptitiously texting or emailing your mates or colleagues elsewhere? Doesn't that say, I couldn't give a monkey's what's going on here. I'm more interested in who I'm texting. Nine out of ten of us own a mobile. Only one in four say they're addicted. Does that sound about right to you? I reckon it's probably more. Two-thirds of us now turn up late to meet friends because rather than hurry up, we just send a I'll be a few minutes late text. And seven out of ten of us say mobiles have made it easier for us to lie. So are they making us ruder, Lowry? No, I, I, I put my mobile on the table at lunch. Do you? Yes. I think that's because really I'm out of I know, order. I'm freelance, and if that phone rings with some work, I'm going to pick it up because well, I've got to earn a living. Well, 20 years ago, you just have to wait and pick up a message at home or wait for a and delivery. And they would, and they would have waited, but now they don't wait. And if you don't pick up, they phone somebody else. So that is the reality. And for a lot of people, that's true. I've also got children, which means that it might be the school ringing me to say, one of mine has fallen off a slide and needs to be picked up. So, no, I need to... I think men have a bit inability to multitask. I'd be very happy to be in bed with you, Matthew, and have... I don't have a crackberry, but to have a crackberry and be happily tapping away whatever we were doing, because I can multitask really, really well. So I don't... And I actually, to, to me, I mean, when I was married... I I'm was still getting the, the lying in bed bit. Sorry. Yeah. No. <laughs> I just, you know, when I was married, I would always have my mobile phone on all the time. I mean, at, at And night. then you got divorced and you got married again. Well, got clearly, that's again. entirely the reason. Now, maybe, it, it Larry, was the would, phone you know. what did it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just think it's part of life. I take my mobile on holiday, I have it, have it with me all the time, and I only ever turn it off in the cinema. So, because uh, that's just the way life is now, and I think it doesn't bother me at all if somebody says, I'm sorry, can I just send a quick text? You don't think it's rude to have a meeting, for example, and have people in that meeting texting... If it's a very important meeting, then I, then I probably would turn it off because that would be professional. But if it's a social friend of mine, why is your self-esteem so fragile that you can't deal with the person you're with sending a quick text? Because you take well, They're it not so really with personal. me, are they? They're, they're texting, they're just second, occupying they're space in a room. one second. Do you have it on ring or vibrate? I, uh, I have it on ring. Because I think you should have it on vibrate. But that require me to wear it in a really naff little thing that you I could can hear You could just put it in your crutch or something, you know, <laughs> and it would be... I'm not going to do that, am well, I? Well, you need it, you're on the... T you know... Do you think, do you think they're, they're... I do think, think it's that I, oh, I, I love my mobile phone, I love my Blackberry, I'm afraid, and I, I absolutely adore it, but I do switch it off in restaurants. Because if you can't sit for two hours with someone and have a conversation over lunch then, and without using it, I think it's appalling. I also think that people in theatres who switch them on, I mean, that wonderful story of Richard Griffiths, uh, the actor, actually stopping the play because the mobile phone went off two or three times and saying, I will not continue until you leave the theatre or you switch that mobile phone off. And he's quite right. Yeah. You know, it's, it is an in intrusion into our lives. I heard but about an actor at the theatre I'm working at now, the Royal Exchange grabbing a mobile <laughs> of someone in the audience and saying, he'll ring you back later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Do you think they intrude? Do you I think, think they're intrusive? absolutely awful. I am addicted to my mobile. It right. all started yeah. when I had my daughter. She was a baby. I went back to work and I was permanently incredibly anxious that something dreadful had happened. The anxiety, of course, one realises as a parent, never goes. So I'm, I, can't, I have the phone on all the time. Every time it rings, I think, oh, it might be something to do with my daughter. This is not a healthy way to mm. be. You know, our, our parents somehow managed to live perfectly, happily, without... The, and everything has to be instant. Yes. And the, the text comes, and it, as you say, you know, they're not going to wait, they'll ring someone well, else see, because that, they can. On that I score, hate it. though, I, I, uh, that, I, I found a very convincing argument, and, and I guess... 
I mean, it is a very convincing argument for mobile phone use. I, 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 you, you trumped me with that one. But I, I think don't think... I, I think it's actually been counterproductive. I think we've turned into rushed neurotics. I mean, yeah. I was always going to be a neurotic when the mobile phone hasn't helped. <laughs> 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 but uh, okay, let's, they're, let's, they're, they are addictive. Definitely. Let's throw it open to you, uh, you guys at home. We're asking uh, if they are really interrupting, interfering with our manners. Amy. Our first caller has decided not to own a mobile phone out of choice. It's Pamela on line two. Good for you, Pamela. Why? Because I think they're turning us into a nation of rude people. I'm sorry, but they, when I'm in a shop, um, I don't want to know somebody's life story when their mobile goes off and they're chattering away about what they're going to do. I agree. And I was in the theatre on uh, Friday evening watching a play and two people received texts on their mobiles and I just think it's so rude. I agree. Why don't we talk to one another anymore? Well, they do, they're, 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 they are talking to one but another. Is it quite rude not face? to be contactable? My mother has, has a mobile phone which she keeps switched off. <laughs> Is like, try to explain that it is a mobile. I don't so think I it is And rude I think it's quite arrogant uh, uh, to expect somebody to, to, OK, well, I'll just I'll just switch that phone on when I feel like it, and I may call them back. Why? Well, that, that's how it used to be, didn't it? In the old days yeah, before not, answer phones. Phones. How We used to travel by horse and cart. We don't anymore. Oh, some of us do. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to. Uh, Pamela, thank you for that. Uh, Amy? OK, let's go to Natalie on line one. Morning, Natalie. Morning. Now, I'm told you work in a supermarket. I do. So that follows on quite nicely from our previous caller, who found uh, people in queues very annoying yakking in their phones. What do you think as a worker? Oh, it is just so rude. You are grunted out at the best of times. Yeah. But to be completely ignored, because all they want to do is talk to whoever they're talking to... Hang on a second. The number of times I've been in the supermarket and the person behind the checkout is chatting to their friend who's packing the stuff into the bag and ignoring me. I'm sure not you, but ignoring me completely. Yes, I, I agree. They have no interest in their customers. No. You don't go to the right supermarket. Oh. Ah, good answer. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, we've all had does, those people. Does it happen yeah. to you a lot, though, Natalie? It happens to you a lot? Oh, at least, probably at least twice an hour. At least. I do it. You do it. I do, and I hate doing it. You're not going to do it anymore, though, are you? Well, I try not to, but it's the you thing that's so difficult there. about it. The reason it happens is because we're now such a phone-oriented species. Uh, the phone call comes in. You think I shouldn't really answer this now. I'm in the supermarket. I know it's rude, but I think, oh no, that means I'm going to have to call the person back because everybody imagines we have to be. You know, that th these phone I, calls have I, to be returned. We have all to the resist. Time. We have to resist those urges, like we have to resist so many other urges. Right. <laughs> the next one's the one I think is going to be the most interesting part of the day. We're asking, is Tracy Emin right to say women over 55 aren't sexy, that you cast it away and become something else? If this is true, uh, is it linked to the menopause, the change, or is the great artist who stitched the names of her lovers on an old tent talking <laughs> utter trash? Uh, 0207 173 5555 is the number. If you're 55 or over, do you still feel sexy? Do you think of yourself as sexy? If 55 is still an age away, do you dread reaching that milestone in life? Women aren't sexy over 55? Your thoughts after the ads. Women think they are at their sexiest in their A, 20s, B, 30s or C, 50s. Find out the answer after the ads.